Yeah. Good morning, students. Today we'll discuss about science and society. How science influences on society, the importance of science on society. And in, we'll see in this video introduction, science in society, nature of science, impact on human life. So education is fundamental for achieving human potential, developing an equitable society and promoting national development. So human life needs development and promotion. So it has specific role as well as variety of functions for the benefit of our society. Creating new knowledge, improving education and increasing the quality of our lives. So knowledge plays very important role. Knowledge is very, very important in function in the day-to-day -day life. So knowledge implies an active involvement of understanding and the ability to extend the level of understanding to meet life contingencies. To solve day-to-day -day our problems, knowledge is required. So science plays a very important role in providing the knowledge and it will be benefited by the society. So the, the main purpose of education system is to become a good human beings. So education plays a very important role. Education is the manifestation of perfection already reached in man as Vivekananda. So capable of rational thought and action, creative, imagination, knowledge, skills, values, scientific temper, sustainable development, global well-being, and reflecting finally a global citizen. This is the purpose of the education system. So if you see here science, science and society and technology is a triangle approach. It plays a very important role. So science and society leads an innovation. Science always seeks to improve the nation. So at the same time, society demands for happy life. So technology use the application of scientific knowledge for specific goal and specific purposes. So science is the part of the society. We cannot bifurcate it. It is the same side of the two sides of the same kind. Science and society leads to innovation as we discussed it. Integrating science and society can lead to innovative outcomes for academic research, environmental health, and social well-being. So if you see here, science plays a very important role in society, mainly the stakeholders, their activities, their engagement, their societal problem, their variety of cultures and responsibilities, issues, social issues, uh, everything plays very important role in a society. So exploring interaction between the social world, technology and scientific innovations are the main areas of science and society. So science is a key driver to drive society to become more advanced and people can live a better life. With science, people can live a better life. Society provides the foundations for science. Society provides the foundations for science. So if you see how our Indian education system, various commissions are taking place. Indian Education Commission, properly known as Kotari Commission, recommended that science should be taught as a discipline of the mind and preparation of higher education. So it is a discipline of the mind and a preparation for higher education. It is the main emphasis on Indian Education Commission on Science. So Kotari Commission, continuous process, forming an integral part of the total system of education. So which intimately related to educational objectives. So there is a great need for compulsory implementation of instruction of the national curriculum framework which emphasizes linking of the science teaching 
with the local environment. So science, NCF is emphasizing science should be always deals with local environments, teaching with local context. So NCF 2005 in its objectives, focusing on science teaching to help students to comprehend concepts, principles, and laws of science, and not just know the formal definitions. So there is no need of formal definitions. Formal definitions will give the core areas of knowledge, but how students need to learn and the application of science into your real world problems. There is a need to provide in-depth understanding of the core areas of science. So without science, there is no life. In the same way, so NCF, Potari Commission emphasizing on science education to perform experiments as a tool to discover, to verify theoretical principles, to develop skills of problem solving, critical investigation of different topics. This is the National Curriculum Framework 2005 emphasizes on participating in the co-curricular activities, national science fairs, investigating projects, adoption of problem-solving approach, and local issues involving science and technology. So Right to Education Act 2009 suggested that achievement of learning competencies among children is very, very important. The more emphasizing on science teaching should be in such a way that it would help cultivate the new generation with scientific thinking. So scientific thinking is always required for the children. So national education policy 2020 is also emphasizing education system rooted in Indian ethos that contributes directly to transforming India it is Bharat sustainably into an equitable and vibrant knowledge society by providing high quality education to all, thereby making India a global knowledge superpower. This is the aim of the new education policy, national education policy in UP 2020. It is also emphasized on various aspects, multidisciplinary approach, holistic education, across the sciences, social sciences, arts, humanities, and sports for a multidisciplinary world in order to ensure the unity and integrity of all knowledge. This is the focus on NEP 2020. It is also emphasizing on conceptual understanding, creativity and critical thinking, life skills is required, extensive use of technology is required, respect for diversity, respect for the local context, synergy in curriculum across all levels of education to the development of the creative potential of each individual. So if you see how science is originated, how science is helpful, how science is linking with the other disciplines, science originates from the Latin verb scientia. It means to know. So science is an organized study of knowledge, which is based on experimentation. So it is based on experimentation. Science is a tool for searching truths of nature. So science always search for the truth in the nature. So science will provide the solutions to the problems. Science is the way of exploring the world. Science is an empirical observation. So science results in the formation of concepts and theories with both concepts and theories being subject to modification in the light of further empirical observation. So finally, you can say that science is a global human endeavor. So people all over the world participate in the process of science. So science is a body of knowledge and the process of acquiring it so the early civilization of Egypt, India, China, Greece, Mesopotamia, and many others made vital contribution to the progress of science. If you see from the 16th century onwards, great strides were made in science in Europe. By the middle of the 20th century, science had become a truly international enterprise 
with many cultures and countries contributing its rapid growth. Science's systematic attempt to understand natural phenomena in much detail and depth as possible. Use the knowledge so gained to predict, modify, and control the phenomena. So science is exploring, experimenting, predicting from what we see around us. So science always gives exploration, experimentation, prediction for what is going to be happening when around us. So it predicts the weather, it predicts the uh, rainfall system, it predicts the temperature. So science always explores the human world. So if you see the nature of science, it is a critical component of scientific literacy that enhances students' understandings of science concepts and enables them to make decisions about scientifically based personal and societal issues. So nature of science always characterized as a body of knowledge obtained by scientists. So it is a body of knowledge obtained by the scientists. So body of knowledge includes here facts, concepts, theories that are subject to error and change. So various types of scientific knowledge exist in the form of facts, concepts, principles, and laws. So science plays a very important role in human life. Without science, we would not have technologies like computers, internet, cars, and so on. These inventions transform how humans live in the world including how we travel, how we communicate, and how we learn. So finally, we can say that science generates solutions for everyday life and helps us to answer the great mysteries of the universe. So science plays a very, very important role in society to lead the innovation. So, so science is always use the innovations. So science and society is, are two sides of the same kind. So we cannot bifurcate it. What society requires, the scientists need to develop the new innovations to lead the happy life of an individual. So thank you.